Hello friends, myself Sukhvinder Singh. I am a digital professional engineer with the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Saskatchewan. It's also called Apex. Apex is a regulating body that regulates engineers and geoscientists in the province of Saskatchewan. And we have similar associations in other provinces and territories across Canada that regulate engineers and geoscientists simultaneously. Do you guys know that registering for APEX is a mandatory requirement for the Saskatchewan Immigration and Only program? I will now go over the process of registering and getting professional engineering license in Canada. I myself have done my bachelor's from India and got my professional engineer's license in Canada. I went through the same process as most of the internationally trained engineers. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by APEX. On this slide, you can see uh, Canada's engineering regulators, like all the provinces and territories would have different uh, associations that regulate the profession of engineers in their respective territories and provinces. I will also provide a link uh, below my video where you can go and check their websites. Now I will go over the benefits of being a professional engineer. The better job opportunities compared to non-registered engineers, higher earning potential because companies would have higher trust on the registered engineers, access to network of professional engineers. Protecting the public is also a huge responsibility that comes with being a registered engineer. It's similar to profession of lawyers and doctors. You can also establish your own engineering consultancy by getting a license to consult which is an easy process once you are a registered engineer. Now I have broken down the APEX registration process into three stages just to simplify and make it easier to understand. In stage one, you would create an online account, fill out an application form, pay the registration fees. And in stage two, you would have to upload your proof of ID, VES and resume. In stage three, you would have to pay a cad uh, the academic assessment fees and fill out the academic assessment forms. If you have most of the information and documents handy, you could get through these stages in a matter of two to three weeks through Apex. Now I will uh, go over the stage one process in more detail here. So in stage one, you create an online account on apex.ca website. Once you create an account, Apex will verify your information and issue you a Apex ID, which is a five digit login that you will use to log in into the account. Next comes filling up of the application form. There is an application tab on your Apex online profile. In this application form, you will fill out your personal information details, current job details, graduation details, like year of passing out, college or university name, and also in the same uh, application form in one of the tabs there, you, you will be asked for the English language proficiency, whether your medium of study was English or not, you have to say yes or no. Also, it will ask for any English language test that you may have taken in the past. List that out uh, with your overall score in this tab. And after filling out the application form, pay the registration fees. Now, it, uh, that your application will go to Apex staff and they will verify it. And then the stage two options will open up in your, in your profile. Now, going over the stage two, in stage two, you would have three options uh, that will open up. The first is a proof of ID. And in proof of ID, you can upload any photo ID and uh, for international applicants, I would highly recommend to use a passport and get a notarized photocopy of the passport. And after that, uh, there's this WES option. WES basically stands for World Education Services. They will evaluate your education for Canadian education standards. And there are special cases, uh, three special cases that can apply to you. If any of those special cases apply to you, then you would only have to get document by document credential assessment from WES. Otherwise, you must apply for the course by course credential assessment. So there are two types of uh, assessments that WES does. So you, you have to know which one you want to apply for. 
So the special case, number one is if you have a degree that is accredited under the Washington Accord, Mutual Recognition Agreement, and if you have a degree from there, you would only need document by document uh, assessment from us. Also, if you are a licensed professional engineer in the United States, APEX will accept a National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying record instead of the VAS assessment. And special case number three, if you have a professional engineering license in Hong Kong, Ireland, Australia, or Mexico, you will have to go to their respective websites and they will have instructions on transferring your license and uh, specifically uh, you will find those more details in the international mobility sections on their websites and they will detail all the required documents and application process now if you don't fall into these three cases i will highly recommend to choose course by course evaluation so once you have to go to the west website create an account and then they will ask for what option you want to choose course by course or document by document evaluation so you select that option and then your process initiates after you pay an application fees they will print out a uh, form that you would need to provide to your university the university had to send your transcript directly to us and those make sure those transcripts are in a sealed envelope and it's preferable that your university directly sends it to the west after west receives those transcripts it's usually one to two weeks of time for reaching your education evaluation doc after this uh, there's one more step you need to complete on west portal that is uh, once your evaluation is complete you have to request a copy to be sent to apex directly and there's a little bit uh, some amount of fees there you pay that fees and then electronically transfer your evaluation to apex and once apex receive your evaluation they will update you in your apex online portal after us you also need a resume and it's recommended you create a technical resume or cv and that resume needs to be under two pages is the standard but yeah apex accepts up to five pages as well I will list all your technical work in that uh, that will include application of engineering theory in your work and also if, res if your resume is done nicely it would be a high impact item on your academic profile so after stage two they will assess your file and apex will assess and they will determine if you would need a yeah, if you would need to move to academic assessment stage or if you just need to provide your experience uh, reports because in some cases if you have enough technical experience uh, from your work from your job then you will uh, they will just say to provide your work experience and waive the academic assessment stage so but for other cases for majority cases they would have academic assessments and i will now go over that stage three in the next slides here in stage three there are two options uh, that will open up after they have assessed your stage two uh, profile in stage three they will ask for your academic assessment fees to be paid once you pay the academic assessment fees uh, then uh, there's also one more option that you need to take care of that's the self-assessment forms and you have to fill out these self-assessment uh, forms now i will go over the form in the next day slide here so you can see how see a snapshot of the self-assessment form there are three columns one is one on c1 you will see apex syllabus in c2 you see self-assessment by applicant and that's divided into two two columns one is west assessment other is program syllabus and other C3 and C4 are for the Apex staff, so you don't need to touch those. And you only need to touch the C2 where there are two separate columns. One is VAS assessment and the other one is program syllabus. So before you start the assessment, I will highly recommend that you get your syllabus from your university. And plus you will need that for your assessment. Also your VAS report. And when you start this uh, self-assessment, 
you would have uh, on one side is the subject and they will have detailed the topics that are covered in that subject and uh, now you have to select that topic highlight that topic and list in which uh, course you have studied that topic also provide your grades that you have achieved as per the west report and uh, and the number of credits that course would have in your degree and same thing you would do for this doesn't matter if you have multiple courses that cover one subject you should list all of them and provide all the information like here and then there is another column that's called program syllabus in the program syllabus then uh, for the same course you list the page number and the course name as it relates to your program syllabus and uh, yeah that's how you fill it out make sure you highlight with the same color for all the three columns and uh, you the apex syllabus column uh, the west assessment and the program syllabus column thank you for watching my video stay tuned for more content regarding professional engineering licensing and please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel